Broadcasting from the River Alice 20,000 Studios, this is XPD News. So I got invited to a community build, and I thought I would participate buildings you would find in North America. I chose the Navajo Hogan because I have lots of friends out here who are Navajo. I live in the Southwest. I live in New Mexico. I've been visiting the area for many years. I was of two minds about doing Native American art and architecture because I don't want to rip off Native people. I think that's happened enough. On the other hand, there are a lot of people who need to know how Native folks live. So I picked the Hogan because, for one thing, I'm the most familiar with it, and for another, there are so many ways to do a Navajo Hogan. Help me build my channel. Click, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Share it on Google+, share it on Facebook, wherever, wherever. This is Dean Speck's community build on the XPD server. I think Dean is starting a global community beginning with the continent of North America. I was the first builder on the site. And like I said, I picked a Hogan primarily because it's the native structure with which I'm the most familiar, the native house. You'll also see a picture of a restaurant. They're also used for large community buildings. Uh, uh, modern Navajo live in these. Uh, traditional Navajo always have a Hogan no matter what kind of house they live in. There are summer houses that are more open than this. This is a winter dwelling. Uh, it can also be used for summer. They're very, very warm and snug in the winter, and it's very cold out here. And they are also very light and airy and cool because they're thick, and they keep out the desert sun, and they retain moisture, so they're very comfortable. These are chili ristras made out of nether wart. Uh, you'll see them hanging in houses out here in the southwest, whether it's Navajo, Pueblo, whatever kind of Native American indigenous people, uh, people of Mexican and Hispanic ancestry, Anglos, we all have chili ristas. That's how you dry the chili uh, for winter, so you can keep them all winter long. We also eat green chili. We tend to chop them up and either freeze them or pickle them. Here's inside the Hogan. I added a refrigerator, television, radio, some other things to let you know that modern people live in Hogan. In fact, non-native people live in Hogan's. I almost rented one. Uh, so just a little interior shot. I added as much detail as I could. I want you to know that Hogan's are warm and comfortable. Native drum. Drumming has had a... a uh, increase in popularity because of the powwow circuit where people from all nations and tribes gather for dances, competitions, uh, games, gambling, all sorts of arts, crafts. They have competitions in all those fields to keep native culture alive. Uh, some shots of some interiors of traditional hogans, but you don't get many shots of traditional hogans in modern times because not in the high search of Google anyway, because modern Navajo are hesitant to let people see the interiors of their houses or know too much about how they live. A lot of Native people feel that way because their cultures have been so ripped off and so commercialized and so exploited by uh, wealthy non-Native people. These are campers that have rented a Hogan to live in for the summer. Traditional stove. So Navajo people tend to keep to themselves. There are family pictures and so on that I'm sure I could have found on Google, but they would be way down in the search list. This is a restaurant that's made with traditional Navajo uh, architecture, just so you get an idea of what the roof beams look like, which are really hard to translate into Minecraft. I put some carpets on the floor to represent where the bedding would be at night. You would roll out the bedding traditionally on the floor. But as you see, most Navajo these days sleep in western style beds and live western style lives in a round comfortable cozy little house with their own traditions i tried to find paintings that looked a little like navajo carpets but there aren't too many in the game and so yeah there's a picture of a creeper on the wall but what are you going to do it's minecraft detail of how the houses are constructed a lot like uh, log cabins and I chose a hay roof because I like the colors and I like the stripes, but roofs can be made out of anything. Tin, shingles, tar, uh, dirt with grass growing on top, whatever, you know, 
whatever materials you've got at hand and whatever materials you want. Here's the modern Hogan being built out of modern materials, not out of logs, out of two by fours and so on. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Well, there's another modern one completed. So you see it's a beautiful style. It gives you lots of exterior space to put things around the porch uh, to work outdoors because working outdoors in the shade is the most comfortable way. There's an exterior stove. That's Monument Valley. Either Monument Valley or Canyon de Chez by the rock formations. Exterior stove. Uh, I tried to represent the architecture as well as I could. Here's a modern housing development. For a long time, Navajo couldn't. We're starting to uh, live in things like travel trailers. These are uh, cactus pears, prickly pears, uh, nopalitos is what the cactus are called, and some uh, pictures of what the fruit looks like, and it can be made into gumdrops and candy and wonderful drink that's better than uh, lemonade. Wonderful drink. Uh, so they stopped, they were beginning to stop living in Hogan's and they were living in crappy little travel trailers and ugly little single wides and uh, mobile homes that weren't good in the environment. They were too cold, too hot, hard to heat, hard to keep cool, uh, used a lot of utilities and were run down and fell apart easily. Hogan's will last hundreds of years. And now the government, the federal government, is beginning to give housing loans to people who build traditional Hogan's there's no palitos inside tacos, dude. And so the Hogan is seeing a revival in architecture on Navajo land. This is a loom. The Navajo are famous for their rugs and carpeting. You see it all over Navajo land. It's not a dying tradition, and it's a very exciting tradition. They use uh, local plant and minerals for dyes for the wool. Uh, they've begun using modern dyes, but the most famous and popular rugs are like this. They're in these kinds of colors, which are natural dyes and natural shades and natural colors of wool. You'll see the sheep in a minute. The sheep were brought over by the Spanish. They're called churro. They were beginning to go extinct, but there's been a revival in the sheep as well because people want traditional rugs, nothing synthetic. And the white wool became popular for a while, about 50 years, because people wanted smooth white wool and because it would sell to the tourists but the churro is seeing a revival in breeding and use in wool and food uh, and they come in a wide variety of colors and they are very much loved by the Navajo people even though they eat them here's some of the natural wool that hasn't been dyed that's just the color of the sheep uh, let's see what else oh yes and here is a carpet made by a young woman using traditional colors and natural dyes. Uh, let's see. So the Navajo people are reviving their culture, beginning to live more traditionally uh, in very comfortable hogans with running water, electricity, internet service. Not everybody has those things on the reservation. It's a low-income place with a lot of poverty and high unemployment. But this is a traditional Navajo home translated into Minecraft. That's one at the Grand Canyon inside a cave. So you'll find them anywhere and they're all distinct because they represent the person who lives in them and the materials they had to use. One made out of stone. That's not as traditional, but it's really beautiful and it could be done easily in Minecraft. Not that octagons are ever easy in Minecraft. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Help me build my channel. Click like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Share it on Google Plus. Share it on Facebook. Where else? Where else? Broadcasting from the River Alice 20,000 Studios, this is XPD News.